So the internet went down today, and I decided I wanted to do something fun. So I assembled this board. This board is a kit that costs about five bucks that uh, will let you test crystal oscillators. These little things. It comes disassembled, and of course, you have to assemble it. So let me show you how it works. Okay, apologies for the bad angle. Uh, just so, I take a crystal oscillator, and I slip it in this little jack here, and it tells me how fast the oscillator is. This one is a 8 megahertz, so good for it. That one's 8 megahertz. I know it goes in there. This next one is 11.59, which is correct. That's one of the ones I have here. So yeah, that's good. And the last one here, let's find out what it is. Twenty two point one eight, which is also one of my speeds that I have. Okay, great. So this little device here is rated between one and fifty megahertz. So it's supposed to work with faster and slower. Unfortunately, I have not had any luck making this work with, I'll do the one after, making it work with my 4 megahertz crystals. So I'll plug the 4 in right now, like so. And as you can see, it's reporting a whole lot of nothing. So it's not working with the 4. All right, trying to get a good angle. It's not working with the 4. Um, it won't work with obviously less than that. I've tried the 32 kilohertz. Didn't work at all. And this is a 48, and it just gets totally flipping confused. Yeah. So it's got a little PIC microcontroller on here. Let's see if I can clean that up a bit. Uh, a little PIC microcontroller. A couple, excuse me, a couple uh, diodes, a couple little capacitors. Uh, some transistors, pretty simple board, and um, well, it's not perfect. I'm powering mine with this 9 volt battery. Possibly maybe there's too much voltage going through it, I don't know. It's it's certainly flipping out. The board says it supports, so I can get the right angle, 5 to 9 volts, and uh, I didn't really have a power adapter on hand that plugged into this, so I just had to go for the battery. Soldered my own little connector on there. But, uh, oh, wait a second, it's actually getting close to 48. Maybe it's self-calibrating, I don't know. Well, that was interesting. It takes a very long time to get above certain speeds, but it actually did work. And here I thought it wasn't working. Unfortunately, it's still not going to get 4 megahertz, I don't think. I'll just do one last try. This is pretty darn close to 48. So I'll drop the 4 back in here. And you still you can still see it. It's plugged in. A whole lot of nothing. So I don't know what the minimum range on this little board is, but uh, well either way, it was a good little project. For some reason I had a spare capacitor. Don't know why. But yeah. It's something to do. Kill some time. Internet's back so I can share the little video. Ah, yay.